Do you have trouble counting back change? No, it's not math, it is just counting. In just a moment, I'll show you a very easy way to do this. Hi, Sandra Bale here, Hometown Realty. I have a lot of younger friends and I worked in the restaurant industry for years. And you know, a lot of younger people did not have a lot of experience with this because they've always had the computers to tell them. And my concern for this with you is that if you have a job where you're serving or even you know delivering and you have to carry a bank, you may not be giving the right change back to people. You could be accidentally cheating them or you could really be cheating yourself. And even if you're not doing something like that, if you don't know how to do this, you don't know if someone's giving you the correct change back and you could be losing money all over the place. So it really is very simple. It is not math, it is just counting. So say that your bill was $6.18. You purchased something that cost $6.18. There it is. You gave them $10. This is two $5 bills, which is $10, okay? The way I was taught to do this when counting it back is you sit that $10 there on top of the drawer so you always remember, in case you get distracted, what originally was given to you. If you put it in the drawer, you don't remember if it was a 10 or a 20 or two fives, and you may get messed up when you're counting back. So always set it aside until you're all done with the transaction. So. $6.18 from $10. We're not even going to do any math. We're going to start with this number, 618. And we're going to count up from there, from $6.18 to $10. That's all we're going to do because $10 is what we were given. $6.18, $0.19, that's a penny, $0.20, a nickel is $25, a quarter is $50, Another quarter is 75, another quarter is $7. So we counted out, we started with 618, counted this change up to another dollar, which is $7. Now from there, $7, another dollar is $8, another dollar is $9, another dollar is $10. There's the change, you'll be right every single time. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a like and subscribe for more helpful tips like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.